Hi, this is Wes Smedley. I'm the rector of St. Chrysostom's Church. Uh, church really means two things, um, and it's true for right now. Uh, it means people, which is my absolute number one favorite uh, thing about the church, is the people. Uh, that's always what the church has meant to me and been most important, and it's the most important thing for me now. It's so easy to become isolated and uh, to think that you're isolated and to be really fooled into feeling isolated. And the church is this powerful reminder that we're part of a people, a larger community uh, around us, that we're not alone at all, uh, and that people uh, are going through very, very similar things than we are, uh, as we are. Um, and the other part of that right now, which is uh, as important as it ever was, and is the sense that uh, this is a place, a church, where you can hear God calling in your life. You can hear God's call. Um, and I believe God calls us as a people, as children of God, a community, to be about certain things. Uh, and I also believe God calls us as individuals to be about certain things. And so it's these two pieces, um, people and God's calling that is so, so important to me about the church today. And thank you so much for being part of the people of God and the calling of God. My wife, Lori, and I make an annual gift to St. Chrysostom's Church because we love being part of this community. Uh, we love what St. Chrysostom's does in the city of Chicago and in the world. Uh, we love what St. Chrysostom's does for one another as a faith community. Um, and it's also a spiritual discipline for us as a couple and as a family um, to remind ourselves each year and really each time we make a gift to the church that life is a gift, a sheer gift, and uh, how grateful we are to receive that gift and to give back a portion of it uh, to remember that all of life is a gift from God. Hi, my name is Peggy Lowe and I am the assistant priest here at St. Chrysostom's. I've been here just a little bit uh, more than a year. I came here last August and it's been such a wonderful, if really unusual and extraordinary year for ministry. I work with our outreach ministries. I work with young professionals and youth in confirmation and newcomers and I preach and I teach classes like St. Chris 101 and 201 uh, and Bible study, which has been a lot of fun. The role is really rewarding because I've just graduated from seminary. I'm doing all the things that I've been hoping to do uh, and studying to do and preparing to do. And thank you for making this such a wonderful place to be. And so stewardship is important because it allows me to do my work. It allows me to really focus on the teaching um, that I want to do or the kind of outreach that I'm hoping that uh, we can do without worrying about how to fund my position. So thank you so much for your support uh, during stewardship season and also throughout the year. None of this is possible without you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sam Portero and I'm theologian in residence at St. Chris. As a priest of the church, I assist in liturgical worship, preach, teach, offer individual counsel and spiritual direction, and serve wherever needed to ensure consistent ministry to the parish. That's my contribution to St. Chris. In return, St. Chris provides me with these rich and vital opportunities to continue my priesthood and offers a spiritual home and deep personal friendships to me and my husband, Christopher. When we were introduced 25 years ago, Chris gave one night every week to deliver meals to persons living with AIDS because in his words, I was taught that we should give to others out of gratitude for all we've been given. Those words remain a foundation of all Christian stewardship. It embodies love for the God who has given us all that we are and own. My name is the Reverend Larry Green, deacon at St. Christosom's Episcopal Church. I've been at St. Christosom's since September of 1980, and I've been very proud to serve as deacon as being an ordained deacon in the Episcopal Church since February 5th of 2005. This is a very different time in our lives today as we're facing the day-to-day -day 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 dealing of pandemic. And then all of a sudden, somebody sends you a letter or calls you about stewardship. This is our annual stewardship season. We realize that 
many of you may be experiencing financial loss, maybe loss of job, loss of income, and it can be a difficult time. We'd like for you to prayerfully discern and give whatever you can give. And for those of you who may be in a position to increase your pledge, we'd like for you to consider doing that as well. The question is, why is stewardship is important? Well, it's very important because it really keeps the functions of the church going, not only from the internal side, but also the external side. Part of a deacon's call is to deal with those who are in distress, not only inside the church, but mostly outside. Many of the things that I do, you don't see, but I've been very fortunate that you have always supported me, overly supported me, not only with your guidance, where we've been able to outfit an entire elementary school, Brown Elementary School, with backpacks and school supplies for over 280 students in that elementary school on the near west side. Also, whether it was getting prom gowns for girls of WOW, whether it was also working with BAM and over $50,000 have been contributed in real money donations to youth guidance by many parishioners over the years here at St. Chrysostom's. I'm very thankful for that. My new outside ministry that I'm really focusing on now is St. Leonard's House Ministries. I'm a new member of the board there, and you've been very supportive over the last two years with tons and tons of whether it's toothpaste, toothbrushes, sheets, blankets, fans. Um, the women of St. Chrysostom did such a wonderful job in getting fans for the women of Grace Place. I'm very appreciative of that. So as you start to take a look at what you can give this stewardship season, just remember that the funds here are very important. There is a misconception that this very rich parish on the Gold Coast is flush with money. It's far from true. We need your help. Please discern and think about ways that you can help us continue in the great ministry here at St. Christus Episcopal Church in Chicago. Thank you.